Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Today we're checking out the 9 Iron Golf Club Weapon by Flare Scale. This is an awesome new addition to Fallout 4 as it adds a new lore-friendly melee weapon, which is always appreciated. And it's really easy to argue the lore for this one as it is simply a golf club. Golf clubs have appeared in past Fallout games like Fallout New Vegas and even in some cases had unique variants that could be found out in the world. So really cool to see this addition of Fallout 4 along with some new weapon modifications. This new melee weapon is added to the level list which is an amazing touch. It can be found on raiders as well as at vendors. And honestly this just feels like something that should have been in the vanilla game in the first place. We already have a baseball bat so why not have another improvised melee weapon from a sport. Now when it comes to the base stats for the 9 iron, we have a damage of 30, a swing speed of medium, a weight of 3 pounds, and a value of 75 caps. If you wanted to reach this thing's maximum potential, you'll need to have Big League's perk rank 5, and throw on the Heavy Head and Barbed Wire attachment. That's going to bring you to a damage of a 102, keeps the swing speed at medium, gives it an increased weight to 7 pounds, and a value of 100 caps. Now, when it comes to attachments for this weapon, there isn't a ton going on as it is just a golf club, but you do have some progression that you can make, which is always nice. So it starts with no upgrade, but you can move on to barbed wire, a weighted head, a weighted head with barbed wire, the heavy head, and then the heavy head with barbed wire. So every time you increase weight, you're gonna increase raw damage. And whenever you add barbed wire, it will add a bleeding effect, which is very helpful for melee weapons. Now, when it comes to testing for today, we're not going to do the normal before and after with the base version of the weapon and then the max out damage because if you're rushing a Deathclaw with no perks and no attachments on a golf club, then, well, there's just something wrong with you. So instead, we're going to take max big leagues with the highest damage perk along with that bleeding effect and just see how it compares against a regular Deathclaw to see what exactly this weapon can do when you top out its stats. So, how viable is it in the late game? Let's find out. Seems to be doing not so bad. Looks like it's going to be five hits. Keeping in mind, we didn't even use any of the power attacks. That's just regular melee hits. Five was enough to bring down a Deathclaw. That's not terrible. I know at its core, this seems like a very simple mod, but in reality, we don't have a lot of simple melee weapons. They're usually way over the top or just a little bit lacking in quality, but this one I think hits the mark just perfectly. It does something that I very much like to see in mods, and that is that it feels like it fits in Fallout 4. If you threw this into somebody's game and didn't tell them it was a mod, I think they'd believe that it was actually just part of the game. It feels like everything else, not to mention, again, it was present in New Vegas and kind of weird that we didn't get a lot of melee variety in Fallout 4, so really happy to see this here. Would also like some new weapons just like this, so looking forward to see if we have anything like that coming in the future. But for now, if you want to try this mod for yourself, the link will be in the description as always, and don't forget to go out there and support the mod author. If you enjoyed the mod, endorse. Just takes a click of a button and it helps out a lot, and consider donating if that's something that you're able to do. But most of all, just show your appreciation for all of the mod author's hard work. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a rating, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this one, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace! And hey, shout out to all of our patrons for their continued support. As always, your donations are greatly appreciated and help to fund videos just like this one. So again, thank you.